What up gamers, this is Jaded from MMOing and welcome back to my Subnautica Below Zero playthrough. Uh, this is going to be episode number four. This is the September 2019 edition of the game because they do make changes. And I'm playing through it because I haven't actually seen some of these new storyline changes. A lot of them are similar to the way they had it recorded previously, but they've taken out a lot of the voice acting and put in new uh, text dialogue for now. Which kind of is crazy because some of it's almost exactly like it was. I don't know why they took the, uh, the dialogue out. Uh, the story has changed a little bit. The Vesper has been exploded. Um, it didn't actually show it. You can still see the Vesper there, the Christmas Vesper. I was called. Oh, you guys can't see it. I'm so sorry. There's the Christmas Vesper. And we left off in the last episode. I just got back to base from the island, and we're in the exact same spot. So let's go ahead and continue doing what we're doing. Um, and this one, what I really want to do is get a base built because we are running out of inventory space. So let's go ahead and eat that. Ah, that hurt. Oh, well. Drink some coffee, drink some water. Use a health. There we go. That's decent. Do I have another water? Nah, I don't need it. Okay, so that's cool. Um, let's go ahead for sure. And uh, I got 30% power on the battery here. We have the Habitat Builder now. We got the Habitat Builder. It was just chilling in a chest. It's very awkward. Weird, I didn't expect that. Actually, that should be on five. And my knife should never, ever leave my body because I know might need that at any time. So there we go. So we've got the Habitat Builder. Let's go ahead and see how much copper we have on us. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, no, wait. Did I count that right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's six. So in that particular end, what we're going to do is build a base. <coughs> there's a sea track design. We need to grab that. Okay. Um, no power. Well, oh, it's unpowered. It does not have power. Okay, now I have oxygen. Give me a second. Things are happening so fast. It's okay. Let's just fix these problems. Let's go ahead and take the battery out of here and throw an Eon battery in there. Makes much more sense. And I can make a thermo blade. <coughs> I should make that one, that knife. Uh, that's the modification station though. So hold on. Okay. My wife is like super sick. I can hear her coughing in the background too. She's okay though. She's just like hawking out some nasty stuff. She be fine. She be fine. Okay, let's open these. <coughs> All right. So now that that's not powered, we can now we can use the battery here with twenty nine percent, and we're gonna have to make a battery charger pretty soon too. That'll be no problem at this point because now we can make our base. So let's put our first base. Quite literally, I'm just gonna kind of put it right over here. So a lot of stuff back to the east that we're gonna want to explore, um, and I guess the south is that's that that direction there would be towards Twisted Bridges Deeps. So north, we want to pretty much go everywhere from like northwest to northeast, and we're gonna collect everything we can and bring it back to a base in this area before we move out further into the ocean. So let's do that. Let's just put our base right here. It's close enough to the uh, crafting station. We can use that for a few minutes. And we'll just let's just build one right here. Perfect. The other things we're gonna need to get the base up and running, we're gonna need some kind of power for it, which is high enough, close enough to the, uh, the ceiling here that it's gonna be pretty easy. The legs should pop down on that in a second. I'm gonna have to go get some air in a minute. Let's put the hatch here. Okay. So for the hatch, we're gonna need some quartz and some titanium, which all I have in here, which is perfect. Just need to go grab it. So let's see, we'll grab some quartz, take two quartz, and we'll get a bunch of titanium. And we're also gonna need some copper, which, ah, uh, that's gold. I don't think we have any copper. Yeah, we're gonna have to go find some copper specifically because we're gonna need copper to put the, uh, the solar panel on here. Okay, so there we go. So now we can access the base. The base is our uh, first area here. But we notice our, our breath is still going down because there's no air being produced in here. So we are literally suffocating in the base just like we're underwater. No air. So let's grab some air and let's go get some. You know what I'm going to go ahead and do? The main reason we're here and the reason I grabbed that copper, uh, two, four, six. When I say copper, I meant um, titanium. 
We're gonna build a few storage chests in here right now just to get some of the stuff out of our inventory. What I like to do is I'm gonna put the, the thing here with the window. So I'm gonna put the uh, couple wall lockers here. There. Make sure that I can still do the glass. Oh, we have, we have to make a battery charger for sure. That's going to go on this wall up here for now. I have. I don't think I have the pieces for that. No, I need copper wire. Okay, and then what we're going to do is... Um, we'll have to leave here in a second because we're running out of life. That's going to be a window. So I'm going to make some glass. And then I'm going to be putting... Uh, you right here in the middle. It's all gonna work out great and then done. I gotta get some air though. We gotta get out now. We're gonna die. Oh, oh shit! Three seconds and oh, get out. Woo! That was cute. Scute. It's cute. All right. So we got a basis of what I'm trying to do here. Everything's kind of set up the way I want it. Um, let's go ahead and get up here and get our power. We are going to need to go find some copper before we can actually do this. I should be able to put this right in the middle here now. It should. But I'll put it right here. That'll work. Alright, so I got my two titanium. No, I don't. Two titanium and two copper ore. So we're definitely going to have to go find some copper. Just go ahead and kick this bad boy on and go take a look. Oh, you know what we could do to help us find copper? Let's grab our, our resource. Let's, let's make our resource uh, finder. Let's see, what was it called? I don't think I've ever actually used that before. I've never had one before. Let's see. Um, Could have sworn I got the... Oh, there we go. Wait, what is it? The mineral detector. So we're going to need a battery and titanium. I believe we could probably pull a battery. Can I make a battery right now? I can. Perfect. But we're not going to use that battery to craft that. What we're going to do is we're going to switch that battery out with something like in the Habitat Builder, I think. Because you can use an empty battery to craft. So we'll scrub the Habitat Builder, hit R, and we'll switch that 20%, 100%, and we will use the 20% battery to craft the mineral detector. I've never actually used this before, so it's going to be kind of cool. We're going to go use it right now. So I have the mineral detector. We're going to put that in place of the flashlight. And let's check this out. What, what does it work? Whoa. Ooh, look at this guy. He's cute. This is quartz. Can I change that? Oh, limestone. Fragment. I'm just right clicking. Oh, you can find fragments with this? <coughs> Whoa. Okay, so we're actually looking for uh, breakable lead. We're looking for... Copper ore. Let's see uh, how this works. So I'm swimming around. Do I just... I don't understand. Uh, let's see. Looking for copper. It's a gravity ball. Did I scan these yet? I have not. Or maybe I have. I already got them. So that's free titanium. I might as well take it. Um... Oh, look, it tags now. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. You have uh, the option of uh, putting blueprints up here. How do I unpin all? There we go. Shoot, one key. All right, I got to figure out how this mineral detector works. Assuming if I'm around what I'm looking for, it'll just start beeping or something. But copper ore isn't something you can find just floating around, which is uh, interesting. I shouldn't be looking for copper ore. I should be looking for... Nitatite, silver ore, iron cube, titanium, limestone chunk. I think that's what I want to be looking for. Ooh, I'm hearing beeping. Is this working? Huh, I'm not getting any reading out here. Oh, it's beeping. Let's 
tracking. Oh look, limestone. There's copper. There's some titanium. Okay, so when I get close to it, it just starts beeping erratically. <clears throat> kind of shows me which direction to be going to. It's beeping. Get some ribbon plants to make some more batteries. Uh oh. Uh oh. <coughs> oh, you know what we should get, actually, is uh, we should make the rebreather, too, real quick. Yeah, let's go ahead and head back. I believe I have three copper. Do I, have not, do I not have three copper now? I do have, I have one copper. Oh, we need three more copper. So I'm not going back yet. We're gonna keep looking for copper. Oh my god, I just got air, didn't I? Come on, baby. Get your air filled up. There we go. Actually, let's stop using the stupid mineral detector. We can easily find shells around here. There we go. There we go. That's three copper. I don't know what the hell. The mineral detector is a huge waste of time, apparently. I need water. There we go. All right, let's go back. We're gonna make the. Uh... What were we making? Oh, the solar panels for base. We can actually start putting our shit in there. In fact, we can actually transfer everything we have right now in there anyway. Let's see. Maybe I get another copper real quick. Nope. The is good. We'll make that. Make uh, more, more storage containers. So let's go ahead and finish this off. I got 30 seconds. What, did I not pick up the two quartz? Uh, well, I have quartz. It's not a big deal. I've got plenty of quartz up in here. There we go. I'm going to have to put something in there. Looking good. All right. This should uh, fix all the uh, rest of this wait time. I don't didn't mean to do that. A little higher there. There we go. All right, ba boom! Power. Cool. Now we are powered in. We have a base. What do we need to get this bad boy going? Two copper ore and quartz. Need one more quartz there. We are gonna make a few more lockers too, because we're gonna need those for sure. Two there. Go. Okay, that's three. That's as much as we're getting done. Yeah, okay. Um, so this also, I had it set up to do glass. <clears throat> so let's go ahead, get back over here, and put a piece of glass there, and then I'll see. I think I need another titanium? Or more quartz, right? All right, we'll make some glass. It's right there. I don't know where to get, um, wait, what do we need here? Oh, lead and diamond, that's different. Enamel glass, used to use the uh, stalker teeth, which I guess it doesn't use anymore, which is cool. Two glass. Okay, um, what do we need for the battery charger? Let's take a look at this real quick. Wiring kit, copper wire, titanium. Um, titanium, copper, ore, and quartz. I think all we need is the quartz for that because I already did the other two, so. Wiring kit, copper wire. Let's let's go ahead and make that real quick. Make our water. Cause the water is getting extremely low. What's going on, Ashley Wolf? You were gonna write a joke here, but it seems rude now. Well, go for it. You can write your joke. I'm okay. Oh no no no. Oh, how do you can't cancel, huh? Once I, I fucking made extra glass. I didn't need glass. Okay, it's okay though. We'll eventually use more glass. Let's grab these quartz and not do that because I need some. Um, what was I gonna do though? I was gonna make it. Okay, we're good. Let's go back. Let's continue building the base. So a lot of things have changed since last time I played this. There's a lot of uh, new story dialogue, and they've taken out a lot of the uh, voice acting that they already had in the game. Have you been playing this before, Ask? Mr. Ash X Y. Alright, let's see if I can finish building this. Cool. Got a fabricator. 
Now, from here, I can go ahead and build what I need for the battery charger, which is copper wire and probably a wiring kit, right? So what do I need for copper wire? Two copper. Guess what? Guess what? We don't have any fucking copper. All right. That's cool. For now, we're just going to throw everything I have into these guys, except for the stuff I want to keep with me. Uh, habitat builder can stay for a little while. We're going to go on an adventure. I'm going to keep the mineral detect. Nah, God, it's still almost useless. It's the first time I've ever used it, and I realize how pointless that thing is. That's ridiculous. I need water and food. Let's drink that. Eat this old food there. Probably throw one of the uh, things in there, too. And uh, I always call those banana plants. So today you thought, yeah, I would have watched some idiot screen at the things that swim on a water planet. Yeah, pretty much. That's what this whole game is doing. I'm the idiot tonight. You can watch all you want. I'll be screaming at everything. Now, you know what? I really enjoy this game. I, the first, I actually have a playthrough of the first Subnautica, and I've already played through, you know, as far as you can go in this one a few times. Everything's different right now. Like, they got rid of the planet. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, the, the Vesper's still there, but it's supposed to be destroyed, and there's no way to contact the Vesper right now, and there's supposed to be some tower i got to build now, and I can't use the rocket to send anything up. But a lot of the stuff is the same story, but they actually redid it. Like, this is the September 2019 build, so. Um, they don't, I only have, look, at, I'm already this far into the game, and I don't have, I only have one drop, the emergency cache. She's not talking to me. There's no, uh, Sam. Sam's not talking to me. She's, like, expecting me to fend for myself now. And it sucks, because it's early access. I don't know if it's a bug, or if it's supposed to be doing something else, because I know there's a lot of issues. Oh, we have to make the rebreather. That's something we got to do right now, too. Um, but I guess we'll find out. Like, as of right now, I can't really do anything. Well, I, I, I've already done everything in this game uh, several times. I played through several different versions of, you know, the alpha. So, like, I, I know where to go and what to do. Um, I'm just trying to determine right now. I'm trying to see how the story is playing out because it's, it's a little bit different than it was. All these uh, voices, prompts. Like, this one, the Alan thing was actually in the original, and it had voice acting in it already. I don't know why they took it out and redid it, but the Alan thing. Um, facilities, the whole beginning, I don't know if you've played in a while. Now, the beginning of the game, it's actually an evacuation order, and you can't uh, go into the other rooms, like the cargo bay is closed off, the second uh, sleeping quarters is closed off, the laboratory is closed off in the greenhouse. And there's still PDAs in there, but you can't access them before the avalanche. So you can't actually do anything in those rooms anymore, which I thought was kind of crazy. I don't know if they're going to change that or do something about it or leave it like that. But either way, right now, my basic goal of this one was to get something built to get our stuff into. Hey, hey, water. Come here. Ladder. Um, we've already done alien technology down there. We've already got Alan with us, so... Um, I guess I need to get a battery charger up. That's what we're going to do. So let's go find some copper. I think right now all I need is copper and a wiring kit. Right? Yeah. Let's go check. I, that's what I was doing. I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Stop looking at my oh, thank you for the follow, Ash. I really do appreciate it. Let's go back over here and grab the rest of the shit. The whole reason I built this is to get my, my supplies together. Like, I didn't even try and build, like, where I wanted right now. I just want to get all this stuff out of here and into a base of sorts. So now we don't have to come back to this pod. Because I hate that little pod. It's all cramped and shit. This is a perfectly good, viable uh, storage room. It's just going to be storage. That's all I'm going to use it for. Crafting and storage. So Let's go ahead and get... Let's go ahead and finish that locker. Oh, did I move my... Ha oh, I put my habitat builder in here. They read is dumbass. Whoa, there we go. Come down here. Okay, so I've come to the conclusion that this this fucking uh this thing is fucking useless. Like it takes way too long to like find shit with this because you can't swim. You can't use the. Uh, I mean, it's faster to just search with this. I think, in my opinion, I don't know. It was it was kind of stupid. I felt like I was going really slow. I had to go up for air like five times. It was kind of ridiculous. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, so, yes. Let's go find some copper after I put this stuff in here. I'll organize all this later. Probably between episodes. 
because this is uh, going to be a playthrough. I'm putting the whole thing on YouTube. I do have my Subnautica, original Subnautica walkthrough playthrough from the beginning to end. It's 35 episodes, about a half hour each, 45 minutes each. That's all on YouTube, my entire playthrough where I get everything in the game. So you can totally go check that out if you're interested in watching me play the original Subnautica, which is an amazing game. Amazing. Like, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot explain how amazing that game is. Oh, man. That game is really cool. The sound design in these games is something I really love. Because, like, in the original Subnautica, you're cruising around, and you can just hear everything around you. And, you, and once you start to play for a while, you understand what the sounds are, and you know where things are and what, what they're, like, what's screaming at you. Like, the reef backs always freaked me out at first. Because they got that, like, whale sound. You're like, what the fuck's that? But you got the reapers screaming in the background. That's a beautiful thing. But um, I also noticed that I was very scared to venture very far into that game until I encountered my first Reaper and I got over the fears. Look how that's not touching, but this one's touching and those two are touching. Do I care? I almost want to deconstruct. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to... It's it's just a thing. I'm just going to... Oh. Okay. Okay. Much better. All right. Here we go. See how that one's a little higher than the... Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna... It's fine. We're good. I was gonna be okay with that. Yeah, the original Subnautica, I mean, even the whole storyline, I thought was really neat. I mean, the fact that they didn't actually have a single other person in the game, but they hinted at this... That you had this feeling that there were people all around you, like, trying to survive. I thought that was really cool they did that. It was probably just, you know, a choice because they didn't want to deal with the uh, animating a bunch of random people in a game like most people do. See... I'm a horrible streamer, man. Horrible. Pussy. <laughs> Wait. So can you uh, read chat? Sorry if I sounded putty, pussy. Oh, no. No, no pushy. <laughs> nice one. I thought you totally sounded pussy, dude. It was like... <laughs> no, no. I'm, I, wasn't, I wasn't feeling pushy. I'm happy that you stopped in. I mean, I happen to be the random idiot that's, you know, yelling at the screen under the water. I'm happy with that. Um, we are going to have to find some copper, so I'm actually just going to cruise out, and we're just going to grab everything we can. Now we have a place to put everything, so we don't have to worry about inventory. So we're just going to cruise. Let's get a light on so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, you know what I actually do want to do? Oh, wait, I saw something. What was that? It says I can scan something right here. Oh, the blue. Oh, fucking. I thought I, I thought it was a like an invisible fragment of something. Um, we do have to grab... We can go get the sea truck right now, too. It's very dark. See, that's creepy. Like, That's, like, scary to swim into that. It really is. Oh, I need some water, too. So right now, I'm pretty much... I'm looking for copper. Don't want to go near him. Sea monkey will steal my fucking shit. Dude, the sea monkey stole my other scanner. <laughs> I had to make a second scanner. Yeah, I hiccuped. Yeah, what are you going to do? Oh, let me see. Oh, there's some copper. Good. What's the boomerang? Yeah, fuck it. What is that? Oh, those are cruster seeds I threw there. We're actually going to grab those because I need some, and we're right by the base. They Actually, I thought I put those underneath that base, but whatever. I'm going to make some water real quick because I definitely need to make some water. So now I can make some copper wire, and we'll work on the wiring kit. We're going to need two silver ore, which I'm going to go get right now. I'm going to go down to the sea monkey nest for the silver because it's close enough. Um, if you could turn on console. Oh, I, I could turn on the console, but I, I've, already, uh, I've already played with everything in the console commands. I've, I've, I've tested everything in the game. Dude. No, I'm I'm playing through from beginning to end the natural way. I'm not going to be using console at all in this playthrough. But thank you. Um, I've already experimented with everything in the game. I've been... Dude, you don't understand. I've I put over a, a thousand hours into the original so I kind of have over 200 hours in this one already. I, I play this game constantly. So, I mean... <clears throat> this, is, this is not something new to me. Um, um, I, I totally understand how... Everything in the game works. I have a sea moth on my other playthrough in this one because I wanted to have all the vehicles. The only thing that sucks is they didn't transport the uh, the sub. I kind of wish. 
like I don't like the sea truck as much as I like the uh, why well, I just dropped my copper wire I don't like the sea truck as much as I liked um, the Cyclops I like the Cyclops more specifically because it's you can have an entire base yeah yeah I've, I've played I've played a decent amount of time though um, I kind of wish that either they would let you put the things together more like have more cars and not have such a, a drastic uh, slowdown in in the amount of cars you can pull because I think you can get you can go about five on there and you're going like super snail slow even with four motors like four upgrades uh, horsepower upgrades I kind of wish it would do a little bit better maybe you can get like six to eight cars at a normal decent speed I get the idea of slowing it down but I just kind of wish yeah, well, what I did in the game is I'm trying to find out... This is why I don't want to use any uh, consoles, which I have I already did in a lot of playthroughs I've done. I've tried everything in the game. Um, I obviously was playing with, like, the, the Snow Fox and stuff before it came out. Um, I was playing around with the all the cars and the sea truck when it was all damaged and tipping. <laughs> it was pretty horrible. Like it used to, like you'd get in it, and it would, if you got out of it, it would float like sideways, and you just fall and get stuck in it. And then they added the uh, the other way out of there, because you used to get stuck in it. Also, I was having a major issue back before they put the alien containment unit in, which I noticed that they give you right off the bat now. See, I'm trying to find out what they give you when. I'm, just, I'm looking at story right now more more than anything else. I'm noticing all the stuff I've collected legitly, but a lot of the stuff was already given to me at the beginning. One of the things I noticed was given to me at the beginning. Is the alien containment and the bioreactor? Oh shit! I'm gonna drown. I mean, I'm gonna die because I don't have any uh, water. That's what I get. That's fine though. Just gonna swim into my base. I think I actually grabbed a couple fish, didn't I? So, oh yeah, I'm a horrible streamer because what I do is I talk in circles and I don't pay attention to what's going on at all. So. I'll like literally run in circles in a game for 45 minutes while I'm trying to talk to people. Huh? Yeah, well, I know what you used to do now. I want, I'm want. i going to find out what you do now by myself just because it's a story. It's a playthrough. There we go. Um, I might as well eat this bar too. Fuck it. We're not going to need it once we get the first part of the car. Um, What I'm going to do right now is what we've been trying to do is finish this bad boy right here. So I can charge my batteries. That's going to be kind of vital. There we go. Now we got a battery charger. Now I can throw... Do we have dead batteries? I thought I had dead batteries. I've got the two ion batteries. Okay, let's make some batteries, actually. We're going to need some more copper. Do I have copper right now? Actually, let me see. I might actually have the plants, too. <coughs> well... I don't think it's kind of hard to figure out. I mean, <laughs> what's up, Mac? How's it going, man? Uh, honestly, like, the way it used to work is you'd go, you have the alien in your head. You would go and get your bio sample, take the bio sample, go up to the rocket on the island, send the stuff up, the sample, bio sample up, and then she would send you down the habitat builder, which now they give you for free by walking to the island and getting it straight from in front of the base, which the base has also changed too. They got rid of the uh, two piece that went up in the like the uh, obser observatory room and stuff is not there anymore. Um, I know where all the bases are in the game. Uh, I know that a lot of them have been updated since the last time I went to them. Um, so I know basically what I'm supposed to be doing right now. But now I think there's a tower that you need to fix. Christ, you cut your luscious. No, I didn't, dude. I just have I have it on my hair up. <sighs> Sorry, man. I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> it's a hair tie, bro. We good. I got. I still got my locks. I still look like uh, Mufasa from uh, Lion King. I'm good. Um, yeah. But so basically, I mean, I know what I've done in the past to take care of these issues. Um, I'm just not really sure what's what's changed because apparently right now the Vesper is out. I've already gone down to the alien, uh, the the alien place. That's how I got the ion batteries, and he's already attached himself to my head. So I'm assuming that once I start swimming in one direction, someone's going to contact me. Let me show you where I'm at in the story, just so you can see. So, this is all different. I mean, since the last time I played, this whole thing has changed. So every single thing 
from the point at the beginning where they like evacuate, everyone needs to get out now, that's completely new. Jeff taking off in the rocket without me, that's completely new. Uh, the alien facility, it's pretty much the same conversation. It gets into my head and my uh, cerebral cortex the same way, but it's a little bit different. Uh, I don't know why they took out uh, the whole Alan thing I just did. Where, so right now he's already in my head. Um, what I'm I'm pretty sure I think I'm, I need to do next is go toward the... Uh, well, I mean, I'm supposed to be going and finding other bases right now, right? I mean, I, I'm, I'm assuming... If you wanna, if you wanna tell me what you think I should be doing, you can. I've already done it all, so it's not like I, I, I know that the the way that changes have come in. There's no more um, voice acting, which is crazy. They took it all out. I've already been to the island. I already have the mineral detector. I've already scanned everything on the island. I believe there's a tower on the island that I need to fix to regain radio transmission with the Vesper. And the reason I think that is because it used to be the cargo rocket. You could go over there and repair it. You can't repair the cargo rocket anymore because it's uh, it has no communication with the Vesper. So you need to re restore the communication with the Vesper before you can do anything else. And I'm thinking there's going to be a tower on that island somewhere that I need to repair. Is that close to right? Because I know there's a tower in Glacial, glacial uh, Basin. <laughs> I don't know about all that, Mag. You know that I, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Gross. That's okay. It's okay. You're still cool, I guess. For real, though. Um, two crash ships. Right, 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 right. There are two sections of the crash ship that had fallen. Um, I That's from at the beginning. When you look up, you see the two ships flying. They're the car, uh, the crash ships. There's a half of one half and the other half. Um, I don't exactly know where they are, but that's kind of a part of it. Obviously, if they're not going to show you where they are, it means you're supposed to go find them, but I'm pretty sure that they're not going to be in the... You know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to go get the sea truck. That sounds like a good plan, actually. If we go get the sea truck right now, we can start exploring stuff a little bit more in detail. I keep calling those banana plants. I know, I can't remember what they're called ever. And this isn't like a thing. This is what I've always called them. Ribbon, ribbon. I don't know why I cannot remember that. Every single playthrough of this game, I've done a bunch of them on my YouTube channel. Um, I, I never remember they're called ribbon. I call them banana plants. It's just what I do. It's the way it, it is. I'm pretty sure... We're at 34 minutes right now on this one. Oh, he's going to steal my shit if I don't put it away. Oh, it was cool the way the, the sound echoed away. I'm gonna hang out with these guys for a minute. Um, I actually am gonna go ahead and uh, take a quick break. I'm basically ending this episode, but I'll be back in like two minutes with the next episode. So uh, thanks for watching and keep MMOing. Oh, yeah. Hey, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you. If you like what I do, please hit those follow, like, subscribe, and share buttons. And for links to my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, my YouTube, the MMOing store, the podcast, and more, check out my website at mmoing.epizzy.com. And if you want to help me get a real .com and keep the stream flowing smoothly, consider becoming an MMOing supporter. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next stream.